it. All right, today's bell ringer, you'll need notebook number three and a pencil. We're working on Thursday's academic word of the week, and I'm gonna take a word from um, what we've been studying with a, a suffix, and I'm gonna use a word that ends in able. We're gonna begin by segmenting the word based on how we hear it, and then the letters that make up those sounds. So the word is available, available. I hear a, uh, hmm. This is a tricky part. I kind of say it fast and I hear ale, but I do hear a ah, ah, oh. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two there. And then I hear two sounds at the end again too. A bull, a bull. But I'm gonna make one line because it's our suffix. So I hear a, mm, I know for sure that's a V. And then I know for sure I'm working with the suffix able because I told you that, right? A, v, a, a, o. Okay, I do know an L is going to be there. And then these are the letters that go on those lines. So even though the A sounds like a short U, okay, and this one just sounds like a, 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 a like a short A, it's actually A, I. So it's a little bit of a tricky word to sound out, but even if you would have just slowed down and sounded it out very carefully, like we had, just, like we practiced for this, um, I think you would have gotten really close to the spelling. So now we're going to go ahead and box off the syllables. So the syllables are vowel sounds. So we hear a, 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 a. And then able, even though it's our suffix, we actually have two um, vowel sounds in there. We hear a and then ol. So a, uh, mm, so a, uh, veil, a, uh, bull. So we have four syllables. Now we're going to go ahead and make a word web. So ways that we've heard this word be used. Now you can add more than I have, okay? Um, but if something is available, it means we can have access to it, right? We can, it's possible to use or buy or get. Maybe a video game is available or a video sy game system is available. Um, if you're talking about like a person, you could be free to do something. So you might... I've heard your parents maybe talk with a friend and say, are you available this weekend? Um, so, and the other thing I'm gonna put here is that it doesn't just have to be a thing. It can be someone or something can be available. And you can go ahead and fill out any other things on that word web that even make you um, that you have a connection with the word available. So it could even be a little image. We've done the little sketches there, okay? And then the last thing you're doing is writing a sentence that shows the meaning of the word. So we've been talking about nouns a lot. So I really want to stress that your sentence needs to have a noun. You need to have a person, place, or thing. Tell me um, about something or someone that is available. So give me a person, place, or a person or a thing. Um that would be available and, and create a sentence that shows the meaning of this word. So is, you're going to write a sentence using the word where you show that something or, you know, can be used or bought or get or someone is maybe free to do something. Okay. And then I will take a look at it next week. That was a perfect